Beloved Masters of Light, I welcome the opportunity to once again blend my conscience with yours, to fill your heart and soul with love and inspiration, and to give you encouragement and support during these tremendous times. Through these messages, it is my desire that you sense and know I am truly with you, and with your permission, I will connect with your higher self and merge my energy with yours at whatever level you are able to accommodate. Through the message of hope, inspiration, wisdom we give you, and the seminars our messenger holds at our request, it is our intention to create a sense of harmony, joy, and a blending of energies at the deepest, innermost core level during these times of uncertainty and challenge for all beings on the pl planet Earth. You are in a cycle whereby many layers of negative energy are being dissolved, including energy barriers that were placed around the heart in time past to protect and insulate your emotional and physical bodies from the pain and suffering of the third, fourth dimension. The floodgates of the emotional body are bursting open as these energies are gradually being dissolved. And the precious gifts of your Holy Spirit is once again taking up residency within the chamber of your sacred heart. Throughout the year, as you, the starseed representatives, gather together from around the world, you will have an opportunity to bring forth a portion of the formula for the future. You, as light bearers, will carry the seeds of self-mastery and a new awareness with you as you return to your homes. And make no mistake, those of you who are tapping into this wonderful energy from the higher realms in your own locale or at other gatherings are also being gifted with an infusion of the refined energies of new creation. You are now being called to attune to a rarefied dimensional level where there are no time or space restrictions, nor any barriers to hold you back as all are gradually brought to a oneness in spirit. It is a time to commune with the masters and to receive a blessing from our Father Mother God. Indeed, the earth to its very core is being bathed in a glorious blanket of divine life substance, and every creature will be blessed and acknowledged. At some level, all of you are on the path of evolution and transcendence. None is being left behind. Know this, each of you can make a difference and are being called to become a standard bearer of light. It is important that you all become aware that those who have been thrust out into the limelight or into the public arena are no different than you. Yes, they are special, unique, and blessed, but so are you, each and every one of you. They each have experienced the trials and tests of initiation and walked through the dark night of the soul into the light of illumination. The one trait they all share is their tenacity. For no matter how painful the experience, how alone they have felt, or how bleak the future seemed to be, they never gave up. They persevered and they overcame until they emerged triumphant in unity and harmony with spirit, ready to accept and fulfill their divine mission. Many of you who have integrated a higher awareness are now accessing new wisdom and are feeling a sense of harmony within the innermost self. However, you still have doubts and are reticent to share your insight with others as you fear that you will make a spectacle of yourself or that you may be ridiculed if you try to pass on what you have learned. There is a universal law that states that you must not only be an example of your new enlightened state, but you must pass on the wisdom and understanding you have garnered so that you may move forward to the next level. You are a student on the path of initiation. You are a practitioner of spiritual mastery and co-creation, and you are also a teacher with a message to share via your actions, words, and deeds. As you move more deeply into your new expanded reality and state of being, many of the thought forms, habits, cultural taboos, conditioned responses, and accepted behavior patterns are being modified and changed. Many practices of the old reality will be looked back on as barbaric and will be seen for what they are teachings of the unenlightened masses designed to control, dominate, enslave, and conquer. We are asking you to be bold, to be innovative, to step out from behind the shelter and shield of mediocrity, to be a pioneer who dares to be different. This is one of the many facets and phases in the process of accepting and wielding your power, beloved ones. It is easy to follow the masses, to stay within the structure of popular and accepted beliefs, as well as the boundaries and the rules set forth by those who have been in control these past ages. It is evident their rule is ending, their power is waning, their days of dominance are coming to a close. The fearmongers are frantically trying to maintain their control over you and the masses, for their power is based on fear and intimidation. Therefore, it is imperative that there be masters of light, warriors of spirit ready to step into leadership role and take dominion those who are ready and willing to set an example as they guide and direct to hold the focus of the new vision, the new plan for heaven on earth, and to see that it is manifested for the greatest good of all. 
You all have an integral part to play. No longer will you be able to abdicate your authority or fo follow passively where others lead you. You must take an active part and play the role you are assigned by your divine self in order to accomplish that which will be your gift and contribution to the world. Remember, my brave warriors, you must draw your cloak of invincibility around you, and you must strengthen your resolve and raise your conscience above the barbs, seeds of doubts, and criticism that will be projected toward you. As the masses stir and the chasm between the third, fourth, and fifth dimension awareness widens, the energies of resistance, resentment, and rebellion will be spewed forth by those still in the grip of the Shadowland illusion of separation and negativity. They will experience great fear of the changes taking place. They will resent being pushed out of their comfort zone, even if it is reality of limitation and suffering. They will attempt to discredit and malign you, but you must not waver. You must stand in your integrity, not judging, but radiating loving energy toward all, and by taking the stance of a master by blessing them and moving on to more fertile fields. You must not try to change their minds, but teach by your example, speaking your truth as their level of understanding and telling them that there are many paths back to the oneness of the Creator. Be gentle but strong in your conviction. Be compassionate, but do not get caught up in their drama, their small stories of woe. Stay joyful, enthusiastic, so they will begin to wonder what makes you so different. Indeed, they will notice and they will wonder, and someday they will take heed. For you will have sown the seeds of change within their auric field and their hearts. These seeds will not be denied. They will flourish, and one day they will burst forth and bloom into a divine discontent which will nudge them onto the path of discipleship. And so, beloved masters, I wish to gift you this day with an even greater infusion of the mighty first ray of divine power, will, and authority in preparation for the challenge in the days to come. The time is now. It has begun that which you have dreamed of yearned and prepared for from the deepest level of your being. No longer do you have to exist on faith, hope, and wishes, for the proof and substance of humanity's evolution into a higher state of awareness are apparent at some level in everyone and everything on earth. You are learning your lessons well, my sweet friends. You are well on your way to harnessing your ego self and bringing it into alignment with your higher self and the wondrous attributes and gifts of your God, Ray, and Divine Self. You are endeavoring to govern your thoughts and keep your emotions on an even keel. You have learned that pure love must originate in the wellspring of the heart, and it must first permeate self before it can radiate out as a blessed gift to others. You are making great strides in becoming a non-judgmental and objective as you allow events and interactions with others to flow around you as you stay centered in the heart. You are beginning to comprehend the secrets which will unlock your treasure chest of wisdom and you are learning that the gift of manifestation is derived from living in the now moment. You have experienced the serenity and the magical properties of the higher dimensions as you weave in and out of the different levels and frequencies of higher consciousness, and you know this is where you wish to dwell. Yes, there are still many lessons to be learned, and there always will be, but you now have the insight to see the justice and perfection in the dance and drama of life that you experience each day. You are being prepared to take a giant leap forward, beloved, and the time has come for you to take your proper place in this great event, the ascension of Earth and humankind. Your light quotient is blazing forth as it connects with that of other enlightened beings. It gains strength and momentum, permeating and infusing the golden etheric web of your home planet. You are all moving up to the next rung of the ascension ladder. There are many leadership positions waiting to be filled as the awakening of the masses accelerates and the multitude step onto the path of initiation. I sense that there is still doubt and hesitation in some of you as your ego throws blockages of fear and inadequacy into your mind. As it struggles to maintain control over you, I hear the voice of your ego self whisper within, What can I do? How can I serve? What do I have to offer? I tell you, you cannot be faint of heart or timid in spirit, for as you move into the fullness of self-mastery over these next few years, your world and your picture of reality will change dramatically. It is time to step forward with courage and determination as you reclaim your divine heritage. It is waiting for you in the not-too-distant future, my brave warriors. But you must draw forth from the universal light substance the energy that you will use to mold and create your wondrous new world as you become the catalyst and director of your next adventure in consciousness. 
You must infuse your vision with emotions of excitement and daring. You must be bold and courageous as you go against the tide of commonality and move out from beneath the stranglehold of the collective consciousness. You must speak words that resonate with the vibration of success and you must assume the stance and take the action of a triumphant winner. You must dare to risk your all as you prove to yourself that when you are in harmony with spirit, whatever you give freely with loving intent will be returned tenfold. Now, more than ever, have you the tools of manifestation at your fingertips. You must step out of your comfort zone and release all that no longer serves you. You all know where this applies, for it has been staring you in the face for months and even years, and will become even more unbearable until you finally relent and release that which is holding you back. Beloved ones, during these times of momentous change, I have offered you that which was withdrawn from you so long ago, that which you have yearned for from the depths of your being, that which will reestablish your connection with the energies of creation, the first ray of divine will, power, truth, and valor. We have given you the wisdom and the tools to assist you on your journey into the future. Are you taking advantage of this wondrous blessing? If not, what are you waiting for? The veil of forgetfulness is rapidly being lifted from your memory, and it is our desire that you regain as quickly as possible that crown of radiant which is symbolized so beautifully by the great Statue of Liberty. Many of you have integrated, ignited, and harmonized the qualities, virtues, and attributes of the seven great rays and are well on your way to reclaiming a full measure of the five higher rays of illumination that have been extended to you. Once again, this blazing crown will blaze forth from your brow, and you will be forever recognized as a divine being, an emissary of light on a mission for our Father, Mother, God, and the Supreme Creator. I am honored to be a protector of humankind and a bearer of the Creator truth. Won't you join me as a standard bearer in this? the advanced phase of expression and learning on planet Earth as you prepare to move back into the realm of higher consciousness and reclaim your divine birthright. Reach outward, beloved ones. Reach inward as well. We are waiting to shower upon you all the love and gifts from the Creator that you can absorb. I am Archangel Michael. So be it.